Mia hadn't realized how much she missed the mountains. The countryside rolling past her car window was greener than anything in Boston. She loved the moose crossing signs and the little villages that felt so sleepy and peaceful. June was in between season in New England, but in another week, the roads would be humming with campers and fancy cars full of New York City people who stopped to take selfies with cows. For now, Mia loved watching the quiet landscapes drift by. Packing the moving truck the day after school ended had been a hassle, but she really was glad to be moving back to Vermont. The truth was, Mia wished they'd never moved to Boston in the first place. She wished she could erase the past two years, but leaving was the next best thing, and she'd have the whole summer to settle in. The 4th of July was less than a week away. Burlington's fireworks were the night before Independence Day and weren't as big as Boston's, but they'd be reflected in Lake Champlain, which made them twice as sparkly. Mia's family could go back to their old tradition, a picnic on the waterfront with sandwiches and dad's pyrotechnic brownies with chocolate frosting and red, white, and blue sprinkles. Best of all, Graham would be there. Summer fireworks hadn't been the same without her catching fireflies in a jar and explaining bioluminescence in the insect world. You awake back there, Mia? Mostly. Mia unslouched and straightened her messy brown ponytail. She'd napped her way through half of Massachusetts and most of New Hampshire. Good, Dad said, because... He hesitated a few seconds, then blurted, I'm in Vermont and you're not... He looked at her in the rearview mirror, cracking up as they zoomed past the Welcome to Vermont sign. Good one, Dad. 